All right, so we've looked at Auburn's offense so far in this game. Let's talk about their defense a little bit. Kind of a tale of two halves for Auburn. They, they were you know, struggling a little bit early in this game, and I want to take a, a look at a couple of plays where Arkansas was really able to have some success against Auburn early on in this game. Well, I think what happened is from the first half to the second half, Matt, you, you saw this defense calm down a little bit. I think Ellis Johnson maybe – got ahead of himself a little bit, thought that they were going to have to do some extravagant things to slow this running attack down and end up getting them in trouble. I think second half you saw some of the stunts, some of the blitzes, some of the different looks back off of those and, and maybe stop running those and just saying, hey, if we play these guys straight up, I think we can handle this running attack and then ended up working. Well, let's take a look at a couple of runs where Alex Collins, the young running back for Arkansas, was able to reel off a couple of big runs in a row here. Well, I think the first thing you look at here is you have a slant from the right side of the offensive line inside. So you're trying to gain penetration, trying to force this defense or force this offense to, to really have to maneuver in the backfield. You want to make these backs move and not get that full head of steam going downhill. It really is the perfect play call into what Auburn has called. Defensive end, defensive tackle are slanting inside, toss sweep to that side, you got a corner blitz, safety blitz coming up from that side as well. You're asking a safety now with a pulling guard and a pulling tackle to really kind of take that on. That's not going to happen. Let's be realistic. A little bit of over pursuit at the linebacker and safety position from the back side. And that allows Arkansas's running back to just cut downhill and turn that into a pretty big play. Actually, a nice tackle by Whitehead to redirect and go make that tackle because with another offensive line out in front really should have been a bigger play. So right after that play, Arkansas lines back up. They do it again. What's different on this run? Well, again, first half here, we're talking about running some games, running some stunts. You'll see uh, one defender right there really come upfield. But as we get another look at it, it really just goes back to your old trap principles. Watch the fullback kind of lined up to the right side of the offensive line. He's going to come back across, and you'll see a defensive tackle. Angelo Blackson just kind of kind of come upfield right here. And that fullback's going to kick him out to the left. This is just old trap principles. You're just doing it with a fullback. And then it's just gut check right up the middle right there. If that defensive tackle gets penetration and then gets, normally you would say kicked out, he's getting kicked in technically, uh, that's a tough spot to put your linebacker in. But you have the center up on the inside linebacker because you have an extra offensive lineman you don't have to use on that defender. That gives you a big advantage. It's funny because this is pretty much the same play that Nick Marshall hurt Arkansas with. You're just doing it with different people. Right. So the fullback has to come across and block the defensive tackle in this system. In Auburn's system, because you have that ability at quarterback with Nick Marshall, he's just using, using the read to basically block the defensive tackle. So when Arkansas's D tackle gets upfield and goes after the tailback, Nick Marshall goes straight ahead. When this defensive tackle, uh, uh, Angelo Blackson, comes upfield for Auburn, the fullback just comes across and takes him out of the play and obviously it leads to a lot of yards for the Hawks. And you mentioned earlier, but obviously Auburn was able to tighten this up a bit in the second half. Anything in particular that they, that they started doing better, more effectively, that led to a better defensive performance? I think they played more physical football. I think the guys just understood at halftime that we can stand up to this offensive line, and now that we're not going to be taking ourselves out of place and putting ourselves in bad positions, I think this was really a statement for Auburn's defense where – Ellis Johnson went to his guys, and I would be willing to bet at halftime, said, you know what, that performance is on me. I put you guys in bad positions. I put you out of place to make plays, but I'm going to let you make plays this half. I'm going to put you on the field, and I'm going to let you go mano we mano up against this offense that's run the ball down your throat. You have a chance to prove me and prove everyone else wrong based on what they saw in the first half, and they did it. Okay, well, that's all we've got this week from the AL.com Film Room. I'm Matt Scalisi for Cole Kublik. Join us next week. We're going to take a look at Auburn's game this weekend against San Jose State.